One thing that I like to do during hunting season for my calls, uh, you hear a lot of people that like to take their call apart and let them dry out. Um, I'm not so much that person. I do like to take the call apart and I may take a dollar bill and get some of the moisture or trash underneath the reed. But I'm not so worried about all of this drying out because here's the deal is when your cork dries out, it shrinks again. Then when you soak it back in water, it swells up. And after it does that a lot of times, eventually it's not going to swell up as much. So I actually like to keep it as moist as I can um, to keep it in there tight. And I don't separate my calls at night, but one of the things I do every morning before the hunt even starts is I'll take my call apart and I'll stick it in the water um, and let it sit there and, and just stay moist and, and swell up. And even if you have an older cork, that's one thing you can do is that when, since that cork is kind of compressed a little bit, if you need it to get swollen up, then just stick it in the water and then put it, you know, put it back together, set your decoys, do a few things. You know, I'd like to do that at least a few minutes before you actually start calling. And um, that'll help that cork swell up, even if it's a dead cork. And there's something about when the call gets wet, um, it just has a better sound to me, especially wood. So that's one of the first things I do every morning is stick that call in the water. Um, and it will, it will keep your reed tighter and give you a crisper sound. And if you have a wood call, to me it just gives it a more natural sound because when you think about it, a duck or an animal is so much percentage of water, just like we are. So the more moist that call is, to me, the more natural sound it has. <laughs>